Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 23. Okay, the previous episode um we got a few things that happened. Not a few things, quite a few things that happened. First of all, um twice unlocked a completely new power. She, he was able to go, like, you know, overcome his trauma and he was able to save toga from that situation and now he can make clones uh i think indefinitely most probably like he can probably make a lot of clones and this puts him at a very strong position as a support uh, you know character because he he can he not only can make his own clones but he can make clones of others even though those will obviously be a lot less stronger than their original version but still you know so that in itself kind of puts him as a huge support character he can support the villains in a huge way in this you know in, in this direction so yeah like that happened and he was able to save toga and save a lot of other characters as well and he helped uh, Shigaraki to actually go to the main hub, the tower where the um, Metal Liberation Army is. They snuck in, you know, one of the clones were able to kind of get in a few punches. And, uh, you know, by the end of it, they, he was able to completely destroy that tower, you know. And at the same time, like, I don't know, like he was able to make Redestro start attacking them. So now Redestro is going to go full on out as far as I can see and Gigantomachia is on the way so yeah this should be great Shigaraki vs um, Redestro and by that time Gigantomachia will probably arrive <laughs> and you know yeah and, and there's also a lot of other fights happening like you know Dabi's fighting that ice guy I can't remember his name and you know like all and Skeptic is also there so yeah so yeah let's see what this episode brings so without further ado let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the time i hear sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start this video all right so here's the countdown three two one go teenagers are scary yeah true okay measure oh oh this will work wow interesting way of actually treating her yeah like interesting like make a clone and transfuse the blood She's fine. Her face doesn't seem that much disfigured. <laughs> I love the thing that it suddenly changed from my hero academia to my villain academy. Hmm. All right. Yes. Then. Okay. Let's see. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> My god. Whoa, what the? What, what did he make? Iguchi Shuichi. What? Oh, brainwashing device, okay. Trumpet. Insight, okay. <laughs> All right. He's a support character. Whoa, whoa, oh yeah, they also have powers, so. Yeah, oh! Gecko. Kind of like Froppy. <laughs> okay. Well, guess what? Ah! <laughs> well, clearly they're not. Whoa! God! My God! Oh no. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it was stains. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like, there's nothing wrong with that. Like... <laughs> True. Well, I think he doesn't care about it. Okay, what power will he awaken? I'm wondering. Like everyone has awakened some kind of an extra power, so. Eh. Uh, all right. Oh my god. I wonder what his quirk is. <laughs> Trash talking. Oh! Oh! Oh boy! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so he's like a power type character. Dash is away my anger. Oh! So that's his quirk. Oh no! Redestro, okay. Stress, oh my god. That's a very straightforward power. Oh my god. Um, come on. God. Okay. Oh, that's a, that's a girl, I think. Oh. Uh. 
Yeah. Oh my god. So that's why she he always What the hell? So said he doesn't forget. Oh, she was his sister. So how did they Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Replaced by my missing memories. Whoa. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Yeah, he made a mistake by actually hand like his hand is the source of his main power. Like what was he even thinking? Oh, that's why he grabbed it. No, he's upgrading. Oh, that's a mom, I think. Oh. Whoa, what's that noise? Oh, okay, come on, come on, let's go. But, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I trained my strength. That kind of sounds weird, but whoa, whoa. Is he like unconscious and my God, he turned into a completely different thing. Oh. Burden. Wow. I wish I was able to throw my burden away like that. <laughs> oh my god, he is remembering stuff. I wanted them to say back then. <laughs> Phone ringing. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Get under my chest here. Yes, yes, come on. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> Boy. Nah. What? Oh, oh, the phone broke. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, did he like? Oh, my God, he is huge. All the details are rising.
<laughs> My God. Whoa. Whoa, what the? Oh, so dad, the dad was like. What? What the hell? Wow. What? No, not like this. Like Okay. Oh, the allergy. That's why he always kind of scratches. Uh, knows. That's why you're punishing a child like this, like, uh, what the hell? You can be a hero too, or something like that. Kindly rejected me. Okay. Oh. Oh, so the dad is like a. Oh, the dad is his her son, Nana's son. Okay, so the paternal grandma. Okay. Oh! Oh no, no. Is this when the. Yeah, oh god. Oh no, oh no, does he like kill his dad or something? Like this? Oh, what? Well, she's a kid, so... Oh no, oh no, I... Oh god. Mm. Oh my god, what is oh And you're doing the same thing, like And she I think she died after that. Oh my god. 
Yeah, she she died after that, I think. Yeah, now you're doing like the Oh no! The dog! Oh no! Oh my god, her, his quark will activate now. Oh! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh! Oh my god, what? Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, thank god she didn't. Like, she would have died if she actually. No. Oh no. Oh god. Okay, he didn't even realize that it was him that's doing this. Yeah, he didn't even realize that. Otherwise, he would have stopped, I'm guessing. Ah. Uh. Yeah, okay. Oh god. Still goes for him. Oh no. Like, like, don't, this is why, like, don't mistreat your kids, like, for your own insecurities, for your own problems, don't pile them up, don't, oh my god, don't pile them up on your kids. Yeah, shut up. God. Like, like if you if you look at it like you know if you look at this situation it's pretty clear that it's the dad's fault like what else can you say like like Shigaraki is not at fault here like he was mistreated from and obviously her, like you know Shigaraki's mom or the other family members were not at fault here because the dad was you know the what do you call it the main person of the house and like you know he probably he was like the only person who was uh like you know earning a living for everyone and everyone was like kind of what can i say like had to listen to the dad so obviously the family is not at fault here now obviously like you know like you can and like you can say here that yeah they could have probably uh like you know what do you call it objected to it that in a in a in a way is kind of a thing that is wrong that the family member did not do you know they they should have objected even though the dad was like the main person of the house 
But they were pretty, like, you know, like, they were kind of scared, I'm guessing, of him. And didn't say much. But the main fault is that the, the dad is here at the fault. Like... <sighs> wow. Like, oh my god, this episode. So, yeah, as I was saying, like... Now, obviously, we can see that uh, Nana, like Nana, most probably, I'm guessing, before going to fight, uh, he she probably wrote that letter to the dad, and like because she probably knew that she won't be able to survive. And that's why, you know, in the end, she said like, "I'm sorry," like you know, uh, stuff like that. So, like, okay, I I understand that he. He started resenting his mom for that and like you know heroes in itself was a big taboo to topic for him something like that and like you know she didn't like that all that stuff now he's a grown-ass man you know he is like you know like this sh probably should have made him a lot more uh what do you call it like kinder towards his own children because he himself was like you know like went through that like cruel fate of losing his mom like that that should that could would probably make him a lot more kinder to his own children because he like you know like giving your own child the thing that you never got that kind of thing but no he he does just the opposite here he i don't like he starts abusing like uh, shigaraki now like here's the thing like i don't care what type of past he has had but it's like you know like he must have had some kind of very bad past or something but what did Sh Sh shigaraki do wrong you know she he's not at fault here he's just a child so why take out your own frustrations on that kid like yeah like the full fault falls like on the dad like nothing else i could say here like like he could have gone through like i don't know like some kind of very harsh past I wouldn't care, you know, because the thing that she, he's doing here is he's just letting it out on his son, his son who has nothing to do with this, who is innocent completely. He's just a child. That's that's nasty. And yeah, he, he was completely at fault here. Now, the sad part here is like not only he dies, but everyone like everyone that Shigaraki had in his family everyone dies and like you know like even people who really wanted like you know who really loved him and really wanted to uh i don't know like what can i say like really sympathized with them everyone you know all the all the characters here except his dad all of them also died so yeah that's the saddest part here and he became completely alone and that's probably the thing that um, all for uh, one you know took interest in and he manipulated that situation to bring him to the league of villains so yeah okay so this episode uh, the first thing that happens is we see Himiko uh, like Toga like um, what's his name Rice wise helping her out now it's very interesting to see that the way that he can actually use his powers so many unique ways i didn't even think about this like he makes a clone of himiko so that the blood and you know, the blood uh, you know group is same that so that he could transfuse the blood into himiko so like you know like that's another very actually unique way to do this like i never would have even thought about it and yeah like we can see that he is a he became a very versatile character twice okay and then we see spinner here he probably has not gained uh, like you know has not upgraded gone through an upgrade in his quirk it will probably happen in the couple of episodes because I, I feel as if every villain here would get a major upgrade uh, spinner would probably get an update in the few like you know in the upcoming episodes <clears throat> and uh, yeah like for, for spinner like i'm guessing like you know he as he as as they kind of said like it's implied that he was bullied 
now obviously i can kind of see that happening because you know he he's like a um what is he actually a gecko or something like that i think so uh so i mean you know his appearance like when probably he, when he was a child he was probably bullied in his school and because of his appearance and you know children are very brutally nasty they are very cruel you know especially little children who don't have any you know moral compass like they don't understand what's correct what's incorrect so that that age group is very dangerous they can be very cruel so and also like like you know teenagers as well like children and teenagers them themselves like, like i'm not telling that everyone you know a few exception on the people they are very cruel and very nasty and yeah probably they bullied him and he as they said like he kind of became a shut in and i'm guessing that's how he gained his quirk or something in a way and uh, yeah we can see that and he probably found a place in this league of villains so no and uh, Okay, just a sec. Mm. Okay, so yeah, he like according to him, he, he's like, I'm no special somebody, you know. I just want to be people uh, with people like you know, the, with my friends, um, the villains here, and I don't want to keep being an ordinary nobody. So is that, yeah, is that really that wrong? Like, yeah, obviously, like he, like, he can do whatever he wants to. And, but in a way, like, you know, like he, him becoming a villain is kind of, you know, as I said, like is, is the wrong thing. Like every character here, like they themselves are pretty nice people. Like all the characters are the villain char characters, but they just started walking on the wrong path. That's the main problem here. Like. And the, the path was shown by all for one, you know, the main mastermind here. So all the characters here are, like, you know, probably should, could have gotten a very different future if they actually didn't take his hand, you know, uh, all for one's hand. And uh, yeah, but still now they're friends. Now they're like together. So yeah, this is all that they have. So and then they're doing everything to actually protect it. Okay, and then we get to see uh, Reed Destro's quirk. We actually get an explanation of what it is. It's stress and <laughs> like, um, <laughs> I don't know, but I like, you know, it's kind of a weird quirk. Like he actually, his stress kind of piles up and I'm guessing that kind of shows on his face, like kind of becomes, I don't know, like kind of becomes darker and there's like this kind of thing like, that spreads around his face and he converts that into power so i'm guessing like if he converts all his stress into power the the black patches will go away or something probably something like that and that's why he was like you know the, the patches were increasing in the previous episode he was getting getting more stressed i guess <laughs> he looks pretty calm like a pretty calm dude but his stress is there like that's the biggest indication i can see so, you know, like as they say, don't judge a book by his cover. He looks like a pretty calm dude. He doesn't seem like a stressful guy, but he is stressed. Like, look at him now. So, <laughs> yes. Anyways, his power, his quirk is pretty unique, in my opinion. Like, you know, using stress and making it into power. And uh, so, in a way, it, it kind of will work out in a lot of, you know, like, for example, if you start losing, you're going to get more stressed out and you'll get gain more power. It's something like that. It's pretty helpful in my opinion in dangerous situations. But yeah. Okay, and you know they fight and they get to know that Gigant Gigantomachia is almost there. Still not completely here, but almost here. And uh, Shigaraki, we also see that Shigaraki's training has paid off. He, he can run very quickly and everything. And then, you know, he comes out in front of uh, Rui Destro and you know, like decides to fight again and then we get to see the flashback the flashback starts and here comes the uh, main portion of this episode where we get to see what happened to shigaraki why he, he is in this position and it kind of also explains why he always scratches his you know neck and everything it's his allergies 
and uh, okay and okay so one thing like okay this thing like so ma the main thing about him was he didn't want his son to become a hero or something like that i think he says that aspiring to be a hero will only cause suffering okay uh so yeah like this dude here this guy the kotaro i think that's his name um obviously he he has no clue of parenting you know he has no idea he has become just he's just become a successful businessman and that's just all about him you know? the only thing that's probably uh i don't know like not notable uh, in him is probably his business or whatever that he did he became successful that's just it that's all that he probably had been able to accomplish in his life like, you know I, I don't think he has a he has a proper i don't know like a relationship with his wife you know, they kind of look always at odds it with each other probably because of uh, shigaraki because he mistreats him and obviously he doesn't want the shigaraki to become like the heroes and he starts actually tormenting him and like how can this person like you know punish him in a way where he's actually like allergic to a few things and he just like, makes him stay outside you know he, he's he's five years old like what the hell is this like is, is this what like i don't know like 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 he thinks that like, he doesn't like his mom you know he thinks his mom was the worst parent ever but uh, what the hell is he himself doing like i don't really understand most of the time like are these people blind or what like are they really that stupid that they don't actually understand what they're doing how much pain they're causing like are their ego so much at a, such a height that they don't care like this is very annoying in my opinion these type of characters like god damn like tormenting a five-year-old kid and like the worst situation the worst thing is that it's his own kid god pisses me off anyways um yeah so like, you know like and obviously uh, we can see that you know like um uh, the grandma and grandpa they're also here and i'm guessing like you know like he is like the man of the house and you know everything is under his control so people like you know all the family members are unable to do anything and the mom also is probably scared of actually uttering anything and that's why i kind of said like you know like the mom like if you like if i actually like like look at it in this way that who are at who is at fault here obviously the biggest person who was at fault is here is his dad and there is probably a teensy bit of a fault within that falls also within the other family members you know the mom the grandparents but as i said like i can't blame them because you know like they obviously they they cannot say anything to the dad and like i understand that but you know like i don't know still like it was a little bit too late that the mom actually like you know started to uh actually what can i say like stand against these type of injustice like you know in the last section where the mom comes in and says that enough is enough like you know like i won't also um, like follow your rules if you do stuff continue doing stuff like this but it was a little bit too late you know like that's when like the time when like she said that and started standing up for them for him it had it had become too late he already awakened his quirk and yeah the whole thing started the disaster and now here's the thing like you know like as he's like you know he says himself that i hate everyone you know i hate everyone uh and like i'm sure like he hated his dad you know but i don't think he probably he didn't like hate his mom and the other family members it's just he felt as if he hated them you know like he, i'm sure he knew that like you know like everyone loved him but it's it just like you know he's just a little kid and he has been going through so much uh abuse from such an old like you know young age and that 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 thing probably triggered his quirk and he's like you know he thought that he hated each and every one like if he really hated them you know like he probably wouldn't have suffered so much afterwards you know so yeah like it, it was just like a thing at the moment and i'm sure he's 
probably regretted it in the future so yeah but he like you know like and like the situation he definitely hated it like who can blame him now <clears throat> Okay, now here's the thing. At the beginning, I was kind of confused. I was thinking like the, the, that showing the grandma and the grandpa. I thought that, okay, so wasn't uh, Nana the grandma of Shigaraki? I was kind of confused. And then I realized that these, the grandma and the grandfather that we saw here is the maternal grandma and grandpa, grandparents. And the, like, you know, the paternal, that is the father's side grandma, is uh, Nana. So yeah okay so now okay just a sec so okay then so then they go sneak into the uh room the dad's room finds the picture the sister says that yeah we'll become heroes and all that stuff but obviously in, the, in like you know later on we see that i'm sure like the, the dad probably scared her so much that she freaked out and said something like yeah like i was not at fault um uh the shigaraki went there think okay went there and uh you know so like the dad starts abusing him again and then we get a little you know like a flashback where he kind of thinks about his mom you know nana kotaro i'm talking about kotaro uh, Nana that thinks about her and you know we see how like, the, the letter and everything like you know he has went through um, the mom died and like, he thinks that it's his mom's fault he she picked the hero work uh, instead of his child now you know as I said like you know I would have probably sympathized with him if he was not such a ass to his kid you know I would have probably sympathized with him if he was not such a I don't know, like, such a character. Like, if he wouldn't have, like, you know, abused his own child. I would have probably sympathized. But no, I don't. I really don't. Like, oh God. Like, what type of, uh, I don't know, like, how, like, how does this ever even, like, how can someone even act like this? Like, yeah mom left me mom did not pick me mom picked the hero work so i'll start abusing my child because he wants to become a hero was was that his thought process like what my god and and like, you know we can see that like shigaraki is very small here very young obviously he won't be able to stand up from his for himself because he was so such such like you know he was so young he's, he's a child here so yeah this is this is completely like you know unbecoming of Kotaro and yeah I probably should have would have sympathized with him but I don't at all like like you know like your own past your own past grievances your own past experiences doesn't give you the right to actually like you know abuse your own child like that's completely wrong but anyways um yeah and then like you know his uh, quirk triggers and yeah when he was holding the dog i knew that yeah the dog is gone and this is when everything will start the dog dies and he he f f i'm guessing he in the beginning he was unable to like they kind of like break this down into few parts at the beginning they say that he was unable to understand what was happening he thought some kind of villain is attacking them he did not realize that he started crying and when you know like uh, hana i think that was her name the sister Came and saw and she was running away he, he still was unable to realize it he thought that the villain is still coming and he tried to scamper and grab hold of her and like you know like like uh, probably he was going to say something like stay here like help me or something like that and she also started crumbling then and i think that's when it struck him you know, that's when it struck him that this is actually my what this is what's happening to me and now seeing this situation unfurl where two like you know like the dog and hana both of them are dead who were like well like, you know one of the most biggest emotional support for him you know he something broke in him and he started like to hate everyone this whole situation and he completely tried to like you know destroy the whole place and his mob even got affected by that outburst of anger you know and he started saying that i hate everything i hate everyone 
the mom died you know like in the, in the, in the, the mom even tried to actually grab hold of him but crumbled you know down and the dad comes out and you know like the he, he like hits him like that was another like but i like you know that that situation i can can't 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 blame him because like you know but still like it, it, it's his son like he could have just like you know ran away or something like that could have like instead he goes and hits him with the thing god damn <clears throat> and you know like and then like when everything like when he realizes that yeah everything is over you know, my mom is dead my grandparents is dead hana is dead uh my dog is dead he's like yeah like and just jumps and grabs the dad because probably the person who he hated the most out of all the people was the dad that's how everything goes down he loses everyone and yeah obviously shigaraki is not at fault here the main person who is at fault here is the dad and yeah i don't sympathize with him his backstory like you know his re like you know the reasoning he was so critical on his son was kind of understandable but it was completely wrong of him to actually abuse him so yeah i don't sympathize with him <sighs> yeah that was it so that was it guys this was this episode this was uh, episode number 23 of my hero academia season 5 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah so, yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of my hero academia so until then goodbye and have a nice day